everybody! It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's Sunday morning. It's about five to ten. My little people have, well, no, not so little people, have gone off to the pictures. So James has took Ruby, his friend and her little sister. So they've all gone for like a morning out. So they've gone for a McDonald's breakfast and they've gone to the pictures. So that's really nice of them. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm doing today, but we are going puppy to see the puppies later. Oh, how exciting. So excuse me so be prepared to be all gooey oh <laughs> love a little bit of puppy action it's so adorable so i've just been getting ready and then i listened to martha the song that lovely liz said about uh, the beatles written about the little dog so i've been listening to the beatles i've never really listened to the beatles uh, my brother has always loved the Beatles and I didn't realise I knew quite so many Beatles songs but I have actually really enjoyed listening to them this morning and some of their songs are really really good so yeah Liz I could be becoming a new Beatles fan I can't believe it <laughs> anyway so we need to go and wash up now I've had my breakfast um, I've had some pram plates and some banana so now we need to wash up and start the day <sighs> right let the boring dust begin. So we'll get these pots soaked in. Um, I do need to do an extra coat of paint as well. So obviously I've done two coats of paint on my chest drawer, not my chest drawers, my desk. Um, so I need to do one more to probably finish it off. So that's another little job we've got to do today. Oh, good morning, Winnie Fred. Are you okay? Are you looking out the window? You like looking out the window, don't you? Are you watching the birds fly, fly by in the sky? Hey. Oh, well, it's nice that you're awake and not fast asleep as usual. <laughs> mm, got to love it when you go to empty your dishwasher and I thought, what's that? And that is chewing gum. So if somehow I have some chewing gum as ended up in my dishwasher, I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. It's disgusting. <laughs> But we share everything on this channel, so I thought you might like to see my monkey dishwasher problem. <laughs> Ooh, horrible. I think I've got it all out. So here comes the sun. <laughs> I'm very busy cleaning my dishwasher listening to the Beatles. So, I finally made it back upstairs. So, come on, Janie. We need to get this done. Doesn't it look lovely? I'm very pleased with it. Um, obviously, you can see the little bits that I've missed. So, needs another coat going over it. But hopefully, after three coats, it should be finished. Love how it looks with the wallpaper. Oh, I'm sick of painting now. It's boring doing the same thing over and over again. Obviously, this is the third time I've done it. Can't believe it needs three coats. It's really expensive paint. It's really annoying. Oh, come on, Janie. Be worth it when it's done. Keep going. Right. Done all the sides. I've just got the top and then all the drawers to do. So it's quarter past 11. So we're doing all right. We've got plenty of time. Go and see the puppies, I think, about three o'clock. Oh, can't wait. It's so cute. I wonder how much they've grown because... It's nearly a week ago since I last saw them. So I saw them last Monday. I'm so excited to see them again. Bless them. Right, top done. Just got the drawers to tackle now. It's getting there. Hmm. So I'm just looking at my drawers. And because I've painted them with stuff in them, I've not managed to get to the very underneath bit of them, if you can see that. So I'm thinking, do I wait? Oh, God, I've marked that one. I think, do I wait and let this dry off and then put the drawers back in and then paint the bits when they're back in the drawers so i can see what i'm doing or shall i just give them one more coat i don't really know what to do <laughs> painting drawers is so confusing so i think i'm going to let this dry off a bit and then i'm going to put the drawers back in but not fully in and then let them stick out and then just paint the edges of the drawers i think i think that might be a good idea <sighs> Right, I've done it. I decided to load the drawers everywhere. So there's drawers everywhere. There's 11 drawers, believe it or not. Um, so I've managed to balance them on lots of different things so that I could see the bottom of them to paint them. So I've done. I've done for the day. So I'm going to leave it alone now to try and hopefully let it all set rock hard. 
<sighs> right, so now I see a bit of daylight instead of just looking at chest of drawers. <laughs> Look, it's lovely outside. I think, I don't know how warm it is, but it's a bit windy, but yeah, lovely blue sky. Yeah, you should be in the kitchen with a bit of sunshine. Oh, I've talked her in. <laughs> That's it, you like it in here, don't you? Look, you look like E.T. E.T., phone home. <laughs> is that better? Is it nice and warm around you? It's like putting on your dressing gown, isn't it? Hey, you've got no ears. Where's your ears gone? <laughs> That's it, you have a good burp. That's it, you get comfy. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's like being a little pink fluffy cave. Yeah, that's it, you have a good sigh. That's it, lovely in there, isn't it? <laughs> I do wonder about my husband sometimes. I mean, what is that that's on my table outside? I have no idea, it looks like it's full of fluff. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Look at my coat. And unbelievably, that is not dog hair. That's been nowhere near any of my dogs. It's been near my new River Island scarf. It's been near my mango coat, which molts like anything. I can't believe it. So I bought it in the kitchen. I need to defluff it and not put it near anything fluffy ever again. Because it's a gorgeous coat, but it obviously attracts the fluff. Right, so I have this light little glove thing. And what it does, if you rub it the wrong way, it puts fluff on. If you rub it, I can't do it one handed, I don't think. If you rub it that way, it removes all the fluff. It's like magic, so clever. I don't know what it's made of. It's like a bit rough sort of fabric stuff. But as you rub it up, anything fluffy lifts the fluff off. So I'm going to defluff it and I'll show you in a minute. Ah, oh, I think you can see which side I've done. Magic glove. Ooh, well, that's what you call fluff. <laughs> so I've got all that off my coat. Right, problem coat number two. So this coat, I absolutely adore it. This is my fish and chip coat, but it's extremely bobbly. Look at it. It's disgusting, really, because it was rather expensive. Shouldn't really do this. But I do love it. So I've got a defuzzer little thing that my neighbour gave me. So we're going to shave it. Right, I've got my little thing. <coughs> my go. Ooh, might help if I take the guard off it. Hang on. <laughs> and took the front off. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Let's try again. <coughs> so it's good. Get all the little cobbly bits off, hopefully. Make it look a bit neater, and then you get the little bits of fluff land inside it. Very, so cute to do stuff like this. I like it. Oh dear. I think we're going to eat some batches doing this. Mm. That wasn't very successful. <laughs> so it keeps just like stopping, and it do not really pull them off. I don't know if this is like too thick for it, really, but. I might have to defluff it a little bit myself by hand. Right, so we've got to dinner time. So for dinner today, I've got the same as yesterday. So we've got mackerel in olive oil, seafood sticks, and little tomatoes. Lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today is an Avon Shimmering True Colour. No, not True Colour. It's just called Avon True Nourishing Lip Oil. So as you can see, it's like sheer. But it's like really, really soft and nourishing. And I know a lot of people bought these last year. They're so good. My lips are a little bit dry. So I thought, yeah, I'll pop that on today. It's really nice. You know when you catch it in the light, it's like really sort of shimmery. I don't know if you can see it's shimmering. It's lovely. Anyway, we're now going off to see the puppies. Right, so we're going. We're going to see the puppies. Florence, darling, we need to take this. Florence really likes it a lot. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Right, we'll bring it back and it'll smell of puppiness. Thank you, man. You're going to first out, you are. You come in a while. <laughs> hey, come in. Hello. Come on, then. Hello. Come on, little boy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> good boy, good lad. Come on, then. There you go. Hello. You want, you want to pussy? What are you doing to my shoe? No, no. Too much will not, will you? No. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
That's so funny. Yeah, it is tug of war. <laughs> oh, and it's tug of war mask off. <laughs> They like that as well. Yeah, they do. They played with it last time. Yeah. Before, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely button. <laughs> Hello. How oh, beautiful. Are you playing tug of war with the chips? She was, yeah. That's a lot. I'm home. Oh, how cute. Well, those little puppies. What do you think, Winifred? Oh, hello Florence, look I've brought you this back again and it's had puppies all over it. What do you think? Are you wagging your tail? What do you think? Can you smell them puppies? Hey, where's them puppies? Where's them puppies? Yeah, can you smell them? Oh, oh Florence, how do you like her? They're so sweet. Aren't they adorable? Puppies are like the cutest thing ever. They're so sweet. Ah, oh, so it's now quarter past three. Oh, I enjoyed the puppy action. I can't wait for her to come. So she thinks that um, possibly next Sunday or Monday they will be available. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm very excited, but I'm also very scared. I'm like, really? Do you realise, Jane, how hard work a puppy is? <laughs> but they're just so sweet, bless them. They make you so happy, don't they? Oh, they're so lovely. So it's now quarter past three, so I'm going to pop the kettle on, make myself a nice cup of coffee. My neighbour has taken our fence panel out so that we can get to the back of his new shed. So at the minute, my garden is like open to next door's garden, which is always really, really awkward when things like that happen. So I kind of can't really go in my conservatory. It's like, <laughs> right, fence is back in, thank goodness. <laughs> I just worry because obviously I let my dogs out for a wee and I think, oh, the fence is not in or anything, but they've put it all back together for now, thank goodness. Right, coffee. So, a cup of coffee in me. I love shopping mug. I've made a cup of coffee for my hubby and a cup of tea for James. Ruby's gone out with a friend um, and I've got a box of chocolates Ta -da! that my neighbour gave me the other day. So... What have we got? Lime pie, sticky toffee, caramel, chocolate flavoured delight. These look lovely. I think I'm going to have uh, the sticky toffee caramel. Is that the love heart one? That one. Oh, lovely. Ooh, the tea is underway. It's going to be lovely. Right, I've got a tiny bit of Avon, Avon, not I, Avon Jane, ironing, not Avon. <laughs> so I've got a tiny bit of ironing to do, so I thought I'll do this and then the tea should hopefully be ready. Oh, so that's all my ironing done, but for some reason we've got an odd sock. Ugh, so annoying odd socks are. Oh, so we're having a slightly different tea tonight. It's still got some vegetables and stuff, but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a bit of scampi. Right, so a little mini sort of half roast dinner. So I've got little roast taters, peas, rainbow carrots, and a bit of scampi. So off to enjoy it. Oh, bubble action. It does feel a while since we've shown little bubble. So it's half past five. And little bubble has arrived in the building. So little bubble, our lovely blue tit, still keeps coming every night. Let's hope she's thinking about having some little bubbly babies, some little pom poms. That would be lovely. Ah, right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. Little Winifred. <laughs> so many, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we've done some more painting and we've seen little puppies. So name reveal coming very, very soon. And I think we're picking up at the end of next week. I'm so, so excited. So my dears, if you enjoyed just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little dogs have got an Instagram, which is two fluffles. And my little website is down below if you'd like a mug of the day or a bag of the day. My little Avon shop is also down below if you'd like to treat yourself to a little bit of something. If you spend £20 you get free UK delivery straight to your door or if not I think delivery is £3. There's so much nice stuff if you've not had Avon for a long long time. Go and try a little bit and treat yourself. Try some of the perfume samples or the lipstick samples. You get quite a lot in the samples, even the perfume samples you do. And it's really nice to be able to try some different things. They even do foundation samples. So it's really, really good. So anyway, I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.